Hi, it's Joanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you with another cozy video about perfumes I tried this month. Now we have October, we are very close to Black Friday and I have so many perfumes on my list. I'm not sure if I will be able to stop myself from buying all of them, we will see. But for now, I tried only a few I wanted to mention in this video, so if you're interested, stay with me. First, I wanted to start from a little bit of a disappointment. This is a fruity frolor fragrance that I thought I would just love. Everybody raves about it here on YouTube, on TikTok. I've heard about it so many times, especially during the summer, even though I think that it can be also worn now when it's a bit colder during the autumn and also winter. It's very sexy. It seems to be a man magnet, so uh, right up in my alley. But unfortunately, it wasn't for me. I was trying it once in the store and then I thought okay it is a pleasant scent but then I was doing an online shopping the other day and there was an option to add a miniature of, the, of this fragrance to my basket so I didn't think twice I just added it to my basket and here we are I have a miniature I was trying it on for many days and I really wanted to love this one but it is just not a right match with the chemistry of my skin and this is Valentino Donna born in Roma I know that this fragrance has so many fans I'm not one of them main accords are woody vanilla fruity soft spicy and powdery and if you saw my last video you know that I love fruity floral woody fragrances but this one has a note that I cannot stand at this note is jasmine top notes are black currant pink pepper bergamot i love it but then middle note jasmine jasmine sandbag jasmine tea so it's just a jasmine bomb and i cannot stand jasmine on my skin on me perfumes with jasmine smells like sweaty armpits like i didn't take a shower and please let me know in the comments if you also have the same problem or it's only me maybe i'm weird but there were way too much jasmine in this perfume i just couldn't stand it i also had the same problem with paco Rabanne's olympia it also has jasmine and salt in and I was using it during the summertime and I was just stinking. I ended up giving it to my mom. She's very happy about the scent and actually it smells very pleasant on her. I was asking her the other day when we were seeing each other what perfumes is she using because it smells so nice and she said it's Paco Rabanne's Olympia and I was like oh are you for real? For me it was just stinking but on her it just smells very pleasant. And the funny thing is that when I was trying both of these perfumes, so Paco Rabanne's Olympia and Donna Born in Roma in the store, on the paper they smell so beautiful, so fruity, so fresh. I don't know what's going on with the chemistry of my skin but I just couldn't bear the jasmine. So I hope I didn't offend anyone but this one is just not for me and I'm just so happy that I got this miniature instead of buying it because judging only on taking it on the paper in the store it was a very very nice scent but just not for me and the longevity on this one luckily for me it's not that huge so I got only a few hours of wear and then I just couldn't smell it Silash is also not very outstanding I didn't get any compliments when I was wearing this one and uh, I wonder why <laughs> when I spray it it starts fruity and floral very nice very pleasant a bit soapy but then this jasmine hits and I just cannot stand it. So Donna Borni Roma, it's not for me because I cannot stand jasmine in a perfume. And if you also dislike jasmine, please stay away from this one. And another perfume I bought a full bottle is the perfume that I have a flanker of and it is one of my favorites. So if you saw my last video, you know, it was on the number two of my most complimented perfumes of all time. And this time I bought an original version. It is Lounge D by Givenchy. And actually I bought it because of the comments I got under my last video that I need to try an original Lounge D as well. It smells heavenly. It shares the same DNA as Lounge D Intense, but it doesn't smell the same it's not the same scent this is a tuberose scent very bubble gummy i think that you need to dress it up a bit to wear it but i also wear it to work just not over spray it i think it just smells so pleasant the silage the longevity everything is just chef's kiss main accords on this one are white flora tuberose sweet woody citrus fruity and this is a white flora and tuberose bomb i smell this perfume on me for six plus hours it's just 
phenomenal. It shares the same DNA as Laundry the Intense and it makes sense because it's an original version, Laundry the Intense is a flanker, just without the sesame note. In Laundry the Intense this is the sesame note that makes this perfume very creamy, very outstanding, whereas this one is just the OG, very basic. I can imagine myself wearing it to the white shirt, maybe to the jeans, just going to the city. I'm wearing it to work as well because as long as I'm not over, over spraying it, it's it's fine, no one will say anything. I think it smells very pleasant and it's also very hard to dislike this one. So this one is definitely for all of you who are tuberose and white floral lovers. And the funny thing is that it also contains jasmine. Just not as huge amount of jasmine as in Donna Born in Roma because this one I just cannot stand. And this one is very pleasant, it's blended very well, so you know that the jasmine is there, but it's not so overwhelming, it doesn't take the first place in the fragrance. And the top notes are pear, bergamot, the middle notes are tuberose, orange blossom, jasmine sandbag, and the base notes are patchouli, vanilla, ambroxan, and vetiver. And I totally agree with that, because it starts with pear and bergamot, so very fruity and citrusy, and then it's getting flowery, so the tuberose, orange blossom and a little tiny bit of jasmine samba gives this very nice flower composition that makes it very basic. I really can imagine myself wearing this to a white shirt. I don't know why I need to try and I think it will be just matching perfectly. And when I sprayed it for the first time I thought that it reminds me about something and I think it was Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. It's because it also starts with pear and pear is not very common in many perfumes. I remember I was just using Jimmy Choo for so many years that I got tired of it and I gave it to my mom. And the funny thing that Jimmy Choo EDP was just smelling very fruity on me, very close to Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf. On my mom, everybody was asking her if she was just smoking cigarettes. And I remember she was so disappointed because she also loved the scent on me. Like Jimmy Choo for her was this nice scent with pear and mandarin orange. It was very fruity, very nice, but on her she just couldn't wear it because nobody wants to smell like cigarettes, right? Many perfumes will react differently on someone else's skin, so you always need to try a perfume on your skin, not only on paper, like I did with Packer Man's Olympia. So this scent is new in my collection, but it gives me all of these nice memories that are connected to Jimmy Choo EDP. Maybe I will come back to Jimmy Choo EDP one day, but I have also Flower Bomb on my wish list, so I need to think about it. Anyway, Silash, Longevity, everything is here, and actually Actually, I paid fraction of the price for this because I bought it used. And it wasn't actually used, it was brand new, it was just opened from the foil and from the box and the lady just wanted to buy another version, not this one, it was just a mistake, but it was open, she didn't know what to do with it, then she couldn't sell it, but she also didn't want to use it because she doesn't like this one. So I found it on Facebook market and I bought it instantly for a fraction of the price. So I was very happy that I found it because I wanted this scent for such a long time and perfumes got so expensive recently. I hope that there will be some good offers on Black Friday. Please keep your fingers crossed because I have so many perfumes on my wish list. I would like to buy some new ones. The next perfume I bought is Oldie But Goodie. I bought it because I cannot afford the Lina La Rose. <laughs> and I read that it's very similar and I also went to the store to check if it's true and Actually, they are comparable. Of course, the Lina La Rose does it better, as everybody is saying, but this one is also very good and ticks all of the boxes. I was looking for a perfume that smells very fresh. It's suitable to the office so I can overspray. It's inoffensive, everybody loves it and smells very soapy. And this one is Chloe EDP, an original version. This is a classic I needed in my collection. I bought 30 ml just to see how I would like it because you know, one thing is trying it in the store when you can try it only once and the other thing is when you are using it daily. And right now I have so many perfumes, I'm wearing all of them to the office. It's very good to have this one for some formal occasions when, for example, I'm going to visit other people from other companies and maybe it's not allowed to use a perfume. Chloe EDP was bought to serve this purpose. And this one is so fresh, so nice, so soapy. A few years ago I couldn't understand why people buy perfumes 
perfumes that smell like soap but now i get it they are inoffensive everybody loves them and some people doesn't even realize that you're wearing a perfume so it's perfect the main accords of this one are floral rose fresh and fruity this one is exactly like that it's so inoffensive so pretty it has been released in 2008 so many 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 years ago when it comes to perfumery but it is still on the market it hasn't been discontinued so it must have tons of fans still and i was checking up fragrantica and top notes are peony litty freesia middle notes rose lily of the valley magnolia and base notes virginia cedar and amber no jasmine so perfect for me what's not to like it's very long lasting on my skin even though it's a soapy scent very fresh i can smell it the whole day and some people claim that it starts very sharp and very unpleasantly to the nose i haven't noticed it at all i think it's because of the lychee note but anyway if it didn't have any fruits in the opening i think it will be the most boring fragrance in the whole entire world because it's just it smells like rosy soap nothing more nothing less chloe fragrances are all timeless and classy and it also reflects in the bottle bottles are also very minimalistic classy timeless so beautiful and this one is extra beautiful because of the ribbon here i'm trying to protect my perfumes from the sunlight so i am keeping them in the closet maybe this one it will just land someplace else because the bottle is so beautiful and it's only 30 ml i just want to display it someplace but i won't do it anyway if you're looking for a distant cousin of the lina la rose which is a niche scent it's quite expensive this one isn't so maybe you should look at this one try it in the store maybe it's something for you maybe you would like it i will definitely not be buying the lina la rose as i said in my previous video i have so many designer fragrances on my list that niche fragrances for now are off limits so i will be using this one happily and the next fragrance is so hyped up that I just needed to have it in my collection. I bought a small bottle, but I really like it, so maybe it's not my last one. And it's Mask Noir Rose by Narciso Rodriguez. This is my first scent from Narciso. I heard so many good things about the masks that Narciso Rodriguez is releasing. As I said in my previous video, I'm not a huge fan of masks, but maybe, maybe something is changing because this one stole my heart. And it's a musky, fruity vanilla sweet powdery rose scent this is the newest one it has been released in 2022 so a year ago top notes are plum pink pepper bergamot middle notes are musk rose tuberose and base note is vanilla and i can definitely smell plum and musk and rose when i'm spraying it on me it's just so beautiful i couldn't stop sniffing myself i have never had a fragrance like this one i think this is my first fragrance ever with a plum note plum with rose it makes a special combination like it smells very good but the rose is not this youthful rose that you can find in for example Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming it's something different in Miss Dior Absolutely Blooming the rose is very youthful whereas in this one rose is a mature rose the only thing I would say about this fragrance is that silage and longevity they are not that great I'm getting four hours of wear of this perfume on me on my skin silage I would say it's moderate it's not not intimate but it's also not that everybody can smell you from miles away and you will be just leaving this trail behind you no no this is not this kind of scent because this one is my first Narcisa Rodriguez scent but I really like it so it will definitely not be the last one I need to try some other perfumes from Narcisa Rodriguez range because masks in there don't bother me at all so even though I dislike masks in perfumes maybe something happened with me or maybe I'm just getting older but I enjoy mask perfumes more and more every day or maybe it's because i'm trying some very good perfumes with mask and this one from narcisa rodriguez is one of them it's so so beautiful i think it's a bit seductive because of the plum it's a very seductive note it's very sexy i also adore pink pepper in a perfume and this gives this perfume a spiciness so it's a very alluring captivating scent i think that it could be another man magnet but i haven't tried it yet on any man so i cannot confirm but i will be keeping my eyes open i imagine myself wearing it during the autumn and winter with a bolder lipstick on maybe a plum one to boots 
leather jacket it will just look so good i would be also wearing it to work and because i bought only 10 mils it's perfect size for the purse so i will be probably using it constantly during this autumn please let me know in the comment down below what perfumes you've tried this month and what is still on your wish list for black friday maybe i'm very curious to know please don't forget to like this video please join the community that we are building here i'm very happy to have you all here and i see you in my next video hi